Hi, my name is Pete Sampson, and I'm the owner and creator of My Music Office, an online way to organize your music program. In this video, we're going to go into great detail in the Locker Database section of the website. So here I am on the main menu. If I scroll down to the Locker Database, click on the icon, it'll bring me to my list of lockers. You'll notice across the top that you have the menu system for the locker area that will remain with you the entire time you're in the Locker Database. The options are Browse, Add New, Search, Reports, Assign, Transfer, and Options. On the top right of the listing and the bottom right of the listing, you'll see the option to change the number of uh, items you see on one screen, and then also change which page you're on to easily find a record that you're looking for. You can sort any of the columns by clicking on the header of the column, such as this. The default is by locker number. And then, of course, across on the right, you have the edit and delete functions for that specific record. And on the left, you have a checkbox in which you can check it, uh, several items and then go down to the bottom with selected and choose to delete them if you wanted to do more than one at once. In the Add New area, this is where we would put a, a new locker in the system. The Music Library locker area is designed under the, under the sense that kids change, but lockers don't. And so when you build a locker with a lock on it and the combination, you can then just assign which student you want to uh, to that locker each year. So you can put in a locker number, locker serial number, and a combination. You'll notice that the combinations have alpha support in there. So if you do need to put an alpha letter, if your locks have those, they are there. Master key, uh, a lot of people have a master key that opens onto the back of the lock. Uh, some people have more than one master key depending on when they bought their locks. And so this is just your way to be able to keep track of that. Student assigned, you can assign up to two, two, two students, excuse me, to a locker. And so you can choose whatever names you would like here and leave any comments. This is a choice of what you can do after you put the record into the system. So after you hit enter, you can either be brought back to this screen to enter another locker or be brought to the main locker database. It's very helpful if you're entering more than one locker at a time. If I go to search, I can search under these five areas, the locker number, locker serial number, serial number, master key, student assigned, and comments. So if a student wants to know their locker combination, you can just quickly go and choose that lock and choose that student and shows the locker they belong to. If you need to uh, say you found a lock on the ground of the instrument locker area, which I know never happens, you could actually go and just put that into the serial number, be able to search, and then find the locker you're looking for that way. That way you can go put that lock back on the locker. Under reports, these are printable reports such as full locker database sorted by locker number. You'll notice it gives you all the information you need to know. And then you can also do one by student assigned. And so that way it only shows you the, locker, the lockers that are actually assigned to a student at this time. You'll notice here at the bottom you can create a custom report by doing a search and then being able to make a report based on your search. In the assign area, this assign area looks a little different than some of the other assign areas in MMO in the fact that you are just displayed a list of all the lockers and then in the drop down is a list of all your students. And then you just very simply go and choose that student. Once you selected that student, you're done. It automatically saves and you're ready to go. The only thing I would make sure that you do is make sure that the page finish lo finishes loading before you start choosing, choosing your students in the drop downs to make sure that they save properly. This is only really in effect if you have a large number of students and a large number of lockers. Just make sure the page is finished loading before you start. In the transfer area, you can both upload and download into the locker database. So if I want to look at a list of all my lock lockers and that I want to put into, say, Excel or something like that, you can do so by clicking here. It gives you a nice text file. You can open up and then put into a, Word, um, a spreadsheet program and then mill merge it to make anything you want in a uh, word processing program. To upload, you simply go to the upload choice, click on the uh, template file, open it up and say something like Excel. Okay, paste the information in, choose here to choose the file and send it up. It's very sim simple, but if you have any issues with an upload, please just let me know and we will be glad to help you out. Sometimes it's a little finicky and you want it to be that way the data isn't corrupt, but we'd be glad to help you. Just email the file to webmaster at mymusicoffice.com or put in a help ticket. We'd be more than happy to help you get your information into the system. In the options area, you'll notice that you have the same choices you have in all the option areas of the ensembles, being able to choose which ensembles work uh, for your particular situation, if you're a band director, orchestra director, or choir director, and you can uh, kind of eliminate the ones you don't need to see. And then you can add custom ensembles right here. And then this gives you the ability to do a complete locker assignment reset at the end of the year. Say you don't want to, uh, you know, kind of pick and choose the students that are being reassigned to lockers or say you do a reassignment every single year. You can just go here, click here, and it'll wipe all the assignments out of your locker area. The one other thing I would like to show you is in the reports, we have a special report for 
locker assignment handouts. And so this gives you the ability to make a handout. All you have to do is print it off, cut it up, and hand the students their little slip of paper, maybe even in the lock, and then you are all set for your locker assignments for that year. I really hope this has been very helpful when uh, dealing with the locker database. Once again, My Music Office starts at only $1.99 a year. It's the, by far the most affordable choice out there. Uh, for three years, you save $100, and for five years, you save $200, which is uh, basically a free year. So uh, please make sure you check it out. Try that, that 30 day free trial. Um, and if you have any questions, obviously email uh, webmaster at mymusicoffice.com or put in a help desk ticket. And I hope you have a really great rest of your school year.